In order to update the product, you have to make sure that the product exists. This is the first test for update. We'll fail with a 404 if product we want to update is not found. Don't be afraid to be specific when naming tests. So, we have a test. Public function will fail with a 404 if product we want to update is not found. Very specific to what we want to do. This test is similar to the one we have for the show action. So I will copy this code. And of course, we have to update the endpoint to put. If you want, you can take this step by step, and every time you take a step, you run the test. So now we have to run the test. Sometimes this is a waste of time though, because at this point we are experienced enough to know that a route should be created for this. However, I will run the test because you might expect to get a 404 because the route does not exist. However, we get a 405. So if I copy the name, filter, run the test, you see we get a 405. This is because inside API.php the endpoint for the show action is similar to the endpoint for the update. Only the request changes from get to put for the update. This is why we get a 405. We do not have the update route yet, so we are trying to call this endpoint by using a put request. This is why we get a 405. Those we create the same endpoint pretty much, however this is a put request and this is an update action. So now we get a 500 and this is because the update action we are trying to call here does not exist. So go ahead and create it. Okay, and we also have the ID which is an integer. Okay. We get a 200, however we expect a 404. You know at this point what to do. Just copy this line. So this is going to find or fail with a 404 if it cannot find the product. Now we get a green. The next test is to confirm that we can update the product. Okay, so this is another test. Public function. Can update a product. To update a product, we should have a product. This is part of given. So product equals to this create and we need a product. So given that we have a product, when we make a put request, so this is JSON. Actually, this is very similar to this one. So I'm just going to copy so I don't waste time. Okay, I will use double quotes so I can use the product variable inside my, my, my string text. This is the action, this is when, and then we have then. But before we do the assertions, we have to pass some data to, to update the product. So a product has a name, it has a slug, and also a price. What I will do is to concatenate update underscore update on the product name. So this should be product name dot underscore updated. Okay. For the slug, this is pretty much the same. I guess the single quotes there were not <laughs> uh, needed, but anyways. So this is str slug and we pass this. And for the price, we can take the product. Okay, product. So we, we take the price of the product and I will add $10. Regarding assert, we expect a status code of 200. But you know what, before we do this, let me comment and run the test. So this is the other test. 
this is can update the product of course we do not have any assertion so let me bring this back okay now we pass of course a 200 doesn't mean that this is working so what i want to do now is to assert that we get back the updated uh, product with some exact values so the values are the id so we need to make sure that we return the correct product id the name well to be honest with you this is similar to this one okay and we also expect created at so this is string product created at so this is what we expect back from the controller to return us as, uh, as json so now if i run this it fails so invalid arguments applied for for each and this is because we are trying to find the product however we do not return the product so you know what is the next step so we return the product i run the test again and now the expected result is not the same as the result that is returned this is because we do not perform any update yet so if i go back to this and we do the update so for the name we just have the request name for the slag we have str slag request name and for the price we just take the price okay so this is the update so again we find the product we update the product and then we return the product so if we run this once again as you can see it returns green to take this test a step further we can assert that this product exists in the database as well so this assert database has the table is products and actually you can simply copy whatever we have here in this assertion and if you want you can also and you can also test the updated value okay uh, it looks like I have a small error of course a semicolon okay once again and as you can see again the test passes and now we confirm that the product also exists in the database so the product was successfully created and before I close this video I will run all the tests so we make sure that everything passes and as you can see it returns green for seven tests and 17 assertions you can see that by running just one command you can find bugs in your application before a client or user finds them after all the modifications we made nothing is broken